Hi guys, this is Shivariti. Welcome to the session on Java Multithreading. In this session, we are going to discuss about producer and consumer problem, how to solve using the wait and notify method. In this uh, uh, problem, basically, there, there are two threads. One is uh, thread one, which is keep on producing the objects. Keep on producing the objects. And second one thread is, it is trying to consume the objects which is prepared by the consume the objects which is uh, which is produced by the thread one now here what we are going to do is for example a thread one is trying to uh, produce the object if we can say uh, if it is produce the max of five um, objects then it has to wait until the consumer thread is trying to consume the object at the same time if consumer threads does not have any uh, objects to consume, then it has to wait for uh, wait for producer threads to produce that object. Then only it needs to be uh, it needs to be it needs to be consumed further. So now what happens is thread one needs to be wait if it is already uh, reached the max elements it needs to produce. At the same time, consumer thread needs to wait if it is uh, does not have any uh, objects to consume further. So we are going to see, uh, we are going to provide the solution for this one using a Java program. So let us go ahead and start our Eclipse. So I open my Eclipse and I am going to create a class called producer, producer consumer demo. And in this, I would like to have a main method. So click finish. Okay, now for the both the threads, we are going to use the shared resource. So that is the reason the shared resource what we are con we are calling as uh, integer integer, and here I am saying as a shared list equal to new array list. Hmm. No array list okay so this is also the integer integer okay now i need to import the list sorry what happened spell list okay so i need to import the list from the util package now again i need to import array list from the java.util so this is the shared object i am going to use and uh, this shared uh, shared object is going to be used by the both the consumer and as well as the producers so first i am going to prepare the producer uh, thread so class producer which is going to implements runnable interface and here we need to overwrite the run method okay this is going to run in this i have the produce met, uh, produce um, method so public void produce it is going to take integer as a parameter and it, this method is going to produce it before produce what we need to do here is as we are going to use the shared resources i i need to specify integer shared list equal equal to null okay and then i am going to create a constructor for the producer class okay i'm going to construct the producer class for the schedule so shared list okay now i am going to add this um, uh, whatever the producer uh, method is going to add the integer very uh, integer value to this shared list so here our logic will begin so we need to put the synchronous as it is going to um, as multiple threads are trying to access so we need to put the synchronized on the shared li list and now the first check is if and also we need to set the max elements here 
one second so int final final int max size equal to 5 okay now for why uh, for while shared list dot size dot size equal to equal to max size that means the producer already produced the five objects hence what this thread needs to do is it needs to wait for the consumer thread to consume it okay so what we need to do here is you can say that shared list dot wait and this is going to throw the interrupted exception interrupted exception so we are going to throw we are adding the method as a throw class here and one more thing i am putting here a uh, one uh, system dot out dot println we will say that shared list is full waiting waiting for the consumer consume okay so once this is done now if it is not uh, if it is not equal to the max size then what it can do is it can add the element to the list so synchronize say list what we need to do here is shared list dot add i okay once it added let us um, once you added it what we need to do is let us um, put some sleep here thread dot sleep for um, one second and then once you added it you need to notify the threads which is waiting for this one okay so now we are going to notify for example if consumer is uh, waiting for the uh, if consumer does not have anything then it is going to wait for the producer to produce once it produce the shared list dot notify will notify the uh, thread which is waiting for the uh, producer to produce it okay so this is the uh, this is the pretty logic what we have written for the um, what we have written for the producer now what we need to do is we need to call this method in the run so that it will keep on uh, iterating it so what i am doing is while true what i need to do is i need to call the produce method so i will say directly produce entire i need to get the what is the value of i rate so that is the reason what i am going to do here is private int i equal to zero now i am going to increment this value here every time it is going to increment as we have throw the class uh, we have throw the uh, throws the exception here we need to catch in the color method so that is the reason i am just um, handling this one in the uh, catch block try catch okay so catch interrupted exception exception okay so this is all about the producer thread now we need to create one more thread that is for the uh, consumer so i am going to copy paste the logic here so this is the complete logic for the uh, producer so we need the consumer thread also so for the consumer i am changing this uh, class name to consumer and uh, we don't want uh, for the consumer it does not require the final method and um, here instead of producer we'll say consumer okay and then here instead of uh, produce what we are going to call this one as a consume 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 and the consume method we need to implement the logic so here consume consume it does not require any parameters 
so you can call just consume in the case of consume what happens is if the uh, shared list is uh, size is empty is empty then what we need to say shared list is empty waiting for the produce uh, producer to produce the objects and then it will wait now here instead of uh, uh, adding what we are going to do here is first let us leave the thread and then here we are going to add system dot out dot print ln shared list dot remove element zero so here we can say the message consume the element this is the element it has consumed and uh, the producer also we are going to put one output statement here it has output right so it is adding so what we are going to say here is producer produced produced element element this is the element it has produced so this is what the implementation is this is the pretty simple implementation the consumer is keep on uh, trying to uh, consume it and if it is the shared list is uh, empty then it will wait for the producer to produce the object at the same time producer if it is reaches the max size then it will wait for the um, consumer thread to consume it okay now these are the two implementation we have uh, done with two threads for one for the producer and one for the uh, consumer we have created now we need to call these things we need to create a thread for this so thread one equal to new thread of here directly i am giving as an anonymous block that is new producer it is going to take the shared list as a object for the constructor and similarly we are going to use thread 2 thread 2 and this is the sorry here this is the consumer consumer now i i created it two threads now i am going to start these two threads thread one dot start at the same time thread two dot start now let us see the now let us run the program and see the output right click run as and uh, run as uh, java application system is little bit slow okay right click run as java application if you see here produce the element 0 1 and then 0 1 shared list is because already whatever it has produced already consumed that is the region shared list is empty waiting for the producer to produce the object again the producer um, producer thread already produced the four elements simul uh, at a time 2 3 4 5 and then consumed uh, consumer thread has consumed and again shared list is empty so it is going to be waiting for the producer to produce object okay so this is how the uh, producer and consumer problem uh, we can solve it so now what happens is whenever share list is empty then it is going to waiting for the producer uh, waiting for the producer that produce the object at the same time if consumer thread actually already it has consumed everything then it is going to uh, wait for the producer th uh, thread to produce and now what i am going to do is 
as we have put the thread dot slip for both the um, cases same that is the reason we are seeing only one output so what we can do here is i am going to uh, say this is the producer uh, producer um, thread i am making as a 500 now so that producer thread will proceed very fast and it is going to um, uh, see the different message like it is uh, waiting for the consumer thread to consume producer thread it has immediately produced at the same time consumer has started it has emptied and then then producer thread is producing then consuming consuming and shared the list is always coming as empty so what i can do is uh, i will do one more thing here i will put thread dot sleeper 100 milliseconds and see what is the consumer thread has yeah now let us see share list is full so waiting for the consumer to, uh, the consumer to consume so this is how the um, uh, producer and consumer problem will can solve using the wait and notify so i am going to explain once again the um, once again the uh, program so that uh, at a high level the first one is we have the shared resource that is shared list we have one is the producer and another one is the consumer the producer thread is always keep on producing but if it reaches the max size of five elements then it is going to wait for the consumer thread to consume if it is not then it is directly producing the elements to the that means it is directly adding the element to the shared list at the same time consumer thread also consume the uh, it is uh, keep on consuming the objects but if it is uh, reaches the if the shared list is empty then it is going to waiting for uh, the producer thread for producing the object else it is trying to keep on um, keep on consuming the objects so this is the how the thread communication between uh, how thread communication will uh, occur using the wait and notify hope you are clear with the concept and if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video and please do subscribe to my youtube channel to get more technical videos